it's your girl, Jackie O, aka Lil Pumpkin Pie 05. Today I'm bringing this tutorial by popular request. Fantasia Reno performed on American Idol recently and probably, I mean, she's a very beautiful girl, but this is probably, I think, the best I've seen her look, period. I mean, just makeup was killing it, slaying it, hair was on point. She had this beautiful ivory colored gown on. She just looked simply amazing and I'm so glad that a few people had asked me about this tutorial because I saw it and I was like, oh my god, she looks amazing. Not to say that she didn't ever, but shout out to her for looking absolutely freaking fantastically stunning. And the thing that caught my eye about the makeup, I think, was the fact that it was so simple, yet so stunning. When it comes to makeup, you can put 50 different colors all over your face and I'll give you that, you know what I mean? There's beauty in, in all different types of uh, makeup looks and, and different color combinations, but to look that beautiful with very little product is very difficult. So shout out to her makeup artists, whoever helped make that possible. Fantasia, you looked amazing, and I only hope that I do the look half as much justice as I hope so. I hope that you guys enjoy the tutorial, and thank you very much for watching. So before we get into the makeup part of the look, there's a few, few key noticeable things that I noticed about Fantasia's makeup. One, it was very, very matte, so I wanna prep it accordingly. I'm gonna begin with a primer. This one is from Youngblood. I take just a little bit of that, I dab it on my forehead, along my cheeks, my nose, my chin, my jawline, and then upper lip area, and then I blend it and smooth it all through. I then use the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone, which basically minimizes pores, and it's really, really, really good at minimizing shine. I'm using that product on my cheek area, and then I'm also gonna be adding a bit of it in my forehead. That's usually where I get the most shiny. I find that that kind of helps fill in the pores when you like dab it in. And you've got like instant shine-free matte as soon as it dries with the skin. I'm gonna use two foundations for this look. First, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Then I use the Ben Nye Mojave Matte Foundation. I'm wetting my Beauty Blender sponge. This is also from Youngblood, by the way, and it smells so freaking bomb. And I am adding that foundation all over my face. You can also put a little bit on your eyelids. And I'm not exactly ready to blend it out yet because I'm gonna go in with the Ben Nye foundation and add that in my contour areas, which is the lower points of my cheekbones and then the temples of my forehead. And then I mesh them and blend them all together. Please don't forget to hit that hairline. And if you need to, you can keep dampening the sponge. Now I am blending that contour. I think that we should also Contour the nose. I definitely saw some nose contour. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Let's contour the nose. Yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to still use a bit of that Ben Nye. I saw the majority of the contour in here, so let's add it there into the brows, into the head of the brow, and then down towards the bridge of the nose. Blend it out, please. It's good to do this before you do the shadow because you really get to get in there and blend it out well. I'm gonna fill in my brows with not one, but two brow pencils. And I'm only doing that because when you look at her brows, they kind of match her hair color in a way. They're kind of like a rich brown, so I'm gonna emulate that as well. I'm gonna use Spiked Brow Pencil from MAC and Strut. Strut is red, Spiked is brown. So that's enough red. Let's go ahead and diffuse it out with some brown. Just to marry the two colors together even more, I'm using my brow brush and I'm brushing that out. And then I use a little bit of concealer underneath to arch them out a bit more. Not arch, I should say. Um, I'm actually kind of rounding the shape out. And I took my finger and blended that concealer out. I took a little bit of Groundwork Paint Pot from MAC, which is kind of like a muted medium I don't know how to describe this color it's kind of like a muted beige and I applied this on my eyelid I'm going to use buck eyeshadow which is from my urban decay naked palette and I'm using this color because it's like a matte medium brown I'm taking that color and a 226 brush from Mac and I'm applying that into my crease she's wearing very little shadow but I do kind of want to define the crease out because that's just what I see on her look. So I'm just gonna be applying a crease color today. And now I'm using a fluffier blending brush. This is the 224 from MAC. And I'm blending that even more in my crease. I'm gonna line my eyes with the black liquid liner from e.l.f. And then I'm going to use Maybelline Falsies Mascara. You don't have to go super heavy with the liner, but you wanna get just enough.
From what I see from Fantasia's look, her lashes are kind of spiky. So I don't even know what brand these are. I think these are Ardell's, I'm not sure. But uh, these are, but these are number 102 and these are Demi's. But this is a very, um, very popular lash. So you shouldn't have any trouble finding something similar. Using Sketch Eyeshadow from MAC, I'm going to go light, very lightly underneath my eye area. And I'm only gonna apply this on the outer corner, that area there. Moving right along to the rest of her face, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Lift Concealer. This I'm applying underneath my eyes. I'm going to apply along the bridge of my nose and then I'm also going to apply that on my chin using my Beauty Blender sponge. Yay! I'm going to set all of the concealed areas with some Ben Nye Banana Powder. See a little bit of a glow in her makeup so I definitely wanted to use something that was warmer for my skin. Now that you have highlighted and contoured for the gods, you need to put some face powder on top of that just to even everything out. Just bring back some equilibrium to the face, okay? This, I mean, it's cute, but it ain't cute. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder, which is my new favorite. And I am patting that onto my skin with a beauty puff. Another way to get similar results is to take like a big powder brush and pat the powder on. I like doing that when I don't really want my foundation to move and I want more of a flawless full coverage, I'll dab it on instead of buffing. Buffing just kind of takes it off. And I'm going around the center of my face because I want that highlight to be there. I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer to contour the sides of my nose and my cheekbones. Next, add a pink or mauve blush I'm going to use. Dolce Vita, which is from NARS. And I'm going to put kind of a lot on because I see her with a lot of color on her cheeks. So yeah, and NARS blushes are very pigmented. So as you can see, you can already see it. I'm not gonna use a Young Blood Luminous Cream Blush. The color that I'm using is Champagne Life. Very pretty color. This is what I was saying with um, Fantasia's highlight and the reason why I'm using this is because it's kind of like highlight without trying too hard So I just wanted something that was minimal and I'm using my fingers to apply I also see a bit of highlight peaking in her brow bones So I'm going to just dab a bit of that on the brow bone area of my eyes We are almost done with the look, but now we need to add our lips. I'm going to actually do a combination of two colors and the reason why I did this is because I wanted it to be kind of like a mauve nude so I took Rebel lipstick from MAC and then I took Peach Stock lipstick from MAC and I put on one on top of the other. I'm going to use Ben Nye Final Seal to set my makeup and help mattify it a little bit more. It's basically just a finishing spray. And it feels so good and it smells really good. And last but certainly not, and last but certainly not least, we cannot forget about Miss Fantasia's beauty mark that she had just below her lips. So we're just gonna go all in and do it. And that is the final look.